world, no doubt in my mind, and my God is with me and victory is mine. I'll dance in the shadow of my enemies, cause God is my champion and he fights for me. Oh, God is my champion and he fights for me. Bigger the battle, say, greater my faith. There is no giant he cannot slay. You're stronger than 10,000 armies. You're stronger than 10,000. Say, oh, 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 oh. me will prosper or stand because i've got a promise from the son of man i'll throw off my armor and raise up my hands because i know my god and i know who i am oh i know my god and i know who i am hey bigger the battle come on greater my faith there is no giant you cannot slay you're stronger than ten thousand you're stronger than 10,000. Bigger, bigger the battle. Greater my faith. There is no giant you cannot slay. You're stronger than 10,000 armies. You're stronger than 10,000. Say, oh, 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 oh. I'm not afraid, I'm not afraid Tell every giant, get on my way I'm not afraid, oh, I'm not afraid Tell every giant, get on my way I'm not afraid, I'm not afraid Tell every giant, get on my way Bigger the, bigger the battle, come on Great of my faith there is no giant you cannot slay. You're stronger than 10,000 armies. You're stronger than 10,000. Bigger, bigger the battle. Come on. Greater my faith. There is no giant you cannot slay. You're stronger than 10,000 armies. You're stronger than 10,000. Oh, you're stronger. Cell night, it is Zoom night, and you are tuned in to the right place right here, right now. The next two hours is going to be powerful. We've got fantastic guests with us tonight, and I know that you are going to be absolutely blessed tonight. Jen, I'm ready for tonight, and I know God's got something special. I am so excited because I believe that the word that you've been waiting for, you know, and that's exactly what we're saying every single night. When this broadcast begins, what comes across these airwaves is life and it's peace right. and it's victory and it's breakthrough for you. So I pray with all of my heart that you have your heart wide open and you are ready to pounce, to pounce at the chance to take a hold of the word that God is bringing to you to make it your own because it's going to lead you into victory. So welcome to these two very powerful hours. It's going to be absolutely amazing. Welcome to South Africa. Welcome to the continent of Africa, Nigeria, Mozambique. 
Greek, Zimbabwe, Namibia, yes. wherever you are, great. Every single one of you, Kenya, Sudan, Uganda, many different countries all over already said we are online, we are there. Welcome to you, great to have you with us. Welcome to the United Kingdom. Yes. All right, wherever you are watching from in the UK and right here in the USA, welcome to each and every one of you. Great to have you with us on Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, Instagram, and every single one of you that are live with us on Clubhouse. <laughs> welcome to you on Clubhouse. And uh, what an honor and a privilege to have our guests with us right here on Faith Today. Apostle John Eckhart is in the Woo! house. Come on, give him a big hand. Yes. Welcome. Great to have you with us, John. I'm excited. Um, I'm on Clubhouse, and um, I got a word to release to those who are watching. Uh, it's going to be powerful. I'm ready to prophesy. I'm ready to teach. And so thank you so much for opening this platform for me. It's going to be a good, good day. And you know, stranger to South Africa. You've been to Africa, what you said, over 50 times. Yeah, I've been over 50 times wow. all over the continent from Egypt all the way down to South Africa, from Kenya, Ethiopia, all the way to Ghana. So I've been north, south, east, east west. west. Yes, I've been all over. All right, so yeah. come on, Africa. Welcome. Welcome, yes. Apostle John Eckhart in the house with us tonight. He is live with us. Come on, give him a big wave on Zoom. If you're there, give Brother John a big wave and say, welcome. Great to have you with us. And uh, we are just so blessed and so ready. Uh, many of you have joined us. In fact, we've got 45 cameras on Zoom already tonight. We can have up to 500 cameras. So come on, where are you? All our Zoom partners. Every one of you get on Zoom with us. The Zoom details are on the screen. Log on, become a part. We want to see your face. The prophetic word is coming to you tonight. You better get ready. And in the house with us, Dr. Patricia yes. Bailey. We're Welcome. so excited about tonight. I know it's going to be another major move of God. God's been with us this week, hasn't he? Oh, yeah, okay. he has, and it's going to be a good, good night. I'm so excited about the timing of God. God's always perfect with this timing. And for those of you that are watching tonight, wherever you're viewing from, whether you're coming to us from Tunisia, you know I really want Mauritania. If you're coming from Mauritania or maybe Mali, maybe there's someone that's watching from Niger tonight. You just happen to be scrolling through. This is your night. There's something about when the prophetic, when it's released in your life, you may not know what it is all about, but your life is about to be shifted forever. God bless you, and it's going to be great tonight. That's right. Amen. We're going to have a great, great time. Come on, Matt. Let's praise the Lord one more time. Give you an opportunity to log on and uh, become a part of the Zoom Live. Welcome to Cell Night tonight. It's the power of God being released through the airwaves in the next two hours. And welcome to every one of you on Clubhouse with us as well. Uh, you are part of the live TV program. You can watch it on Facebook, myfaith.tv. If you want to join over there as well, wherever you are. If you're on Facebook, share the feed. Tell everybody what's happening tonight. Apostle John Eckhart is in the house and you don't want to go away. You want to be blessed tonight. So great to have you with us. Matt, come on, let's praise the Lord together. No weapon against me will prosper or sin Cause I've got a promise from the Son of Man To throw off my armor and raise up my hands Cause I know my God and I know who I am Oh, I know my God and I know who I am Hey, bigger the battle, greater my faith There is no triumph, you cannot slay You're stronger than ten thousand I'm not afraid, no. I'm not afraid. Tell every giant. I'm not afraid. I'm not afraid. I'm not afraid. Tell every giant. Get the battle. Come on. Greater my faith. There is no giant. You cannot 
slave. You're stronger than 10,000 armies. You're stronger than 10,000. Bigger, bigger the battle. Greater my faith. There is no giant you cannot slay. You're stronger. And I trust you ready because the power of God is going to come through these airwaves and there's going to be an impact in your life that will be everlasting. I, I believe this without a shadow of a doubt. Something is going to happen tonight. This whole week, Patricia, we've been building. Every single day. Every single day. We've been building, building, building. And Apostle John, it's, it's no accident that you are here. All right. Of, of what God's going to do tonight. And I believe there's a strong word on on his heart and, and God's placed on your heart to release to each and every one of, of us, all right, and every one of the viewers. So wherever you're watching from tonight, I want you to get ready for what God's going to do. I want you to share the feed. I want you to tell people, if you're on Clubhouse right now, I want you to, on Clubhouse, tell people you're there and uh, share it. Do whatever you can. Promote it. If you're on Facebook right now, come on, let's get those share buttons going on Facebook. Share the feed. Tell people. Right now, they can watch it live on MyFaith.tv. And then if you're watching out there on Faith Now, at the streaming service of Faith Broadcasting Network, Faith Now, welcome to you. Great to have you with us as well. And every one of you on terrestrial TV, satellite TV, around all the nations of the world, great to have you with us. Those on Zoom. You're always extra special as well on a Wednesday night, okay? So uh, I'm just so blessed. Come on, Zoom. All my Zoom viewers, give us a big wave. Come on. Hello. We want to show everyone. Give us a big wave out there on Zoom. Great to have you with us. We have now 77 of you on Zoom. Take a look at this. 77. There they are. 77 cameras right now and growing. All right, if you have not yet joined us on zoom get online with us tonight's a night of the prophetic tonight there's going to be a flow and tonight god is going to do something very special i i want to i want to just say a big hello to uh, some of our dear friends on zoom just quickly uh, before we before we um, you, you know uh, move on with tonight and uh, uh, julian Julian, first, first on tonight. He Always. decided oh. I'm going to get first oh, place tonight. I remember him. Tonight, <laughs> all right. I and uh, you. and uh, I, I was so blessed by that. And and Julian, thank you so much. And I have lost where I need to be <laughs> over here on, on Zoom. He's okay, so, so I'm, I'm going back. Julian, I'm sorry. I, I'm going to do this again. All right, there we are. Now oh, I found Julian. There, there he is. Are. Okay, <laughs> Julian, great to have you with us. You were first up. I always like to say who's the first one to log in on Zoom tonight, and Julian was the first one. And, uh, and, Natalie. Uh, and Natalie is out there as well. Natalie, Julian beat you to it. <laughs> okay, so uh, Natalie, Julian, beat you to it tonight. Hello, Natalie. And great to see you as well, Nat. Uh, absolutely. And my good friend, Adrian Singh. There he is, oh, Adrian. Adrian. Welcome, welcome, welcome. All right, you've so got the nice. Bible. Oh, okay, so he's got the faith Bible <laughs> right over there. Adrian, we miss you. Okay, and we can't wait to see you sometime soon, all right? And Simone. And Simone as well. There they are, the family. You guys are like family so to beautiful. us. Okay, you guys are like absolute family. So beautiful. Each and every one. And Leon, there he is, waving as well. Yes. Leon, good to have and you with Tanya. us. Tanya and Tanya there. and her mom, there they are over there. Tanya, great to have you guys Thank with you, us. Tanya. We welcome, love you. welcome to each and every one of you. And. Uh, <laughs> And who's, who's waving over here? Let me just see over this side. Elinda. Uh, uh, Elinda. Elinda's waving as well over there. Elinda. So welcome to Beautiful. you as well. And Yuvika and Trev. Yuvika, great to have you with us as well. 
Uh, and so many of you, you know, I'm, I'm looking over here. There's Jenny. All right, Jenny Whiteman is Hello, waving Jenny. as well. So great to have you with us, Jenny. Thank you so much for joining us. And uh, it's just oh, absolutely Virginia, awesome. So many. All right, and there's Adrian. Adrian, uh, uh, Adrian Thomas, what book are you reading? <laughs> Prayers. Uh, is that your book? Yeah. Uh -huh. All right, so Adrian's showing you your book. Oh. All right, there he's got it in Africa. Oh. And uh, there Good he is. You. Come on, put that up quickly, Christian. Put up the picture. There, there it is. No, Christian. Okay, too late. All right, now let me just tell those of you on Zoom. Those of you on Zoom, there are two things you need to do. You need to change your name. On Zoom, many of you are getting that right, okay? Put your but the name. second thing I need you to do is I need you to pin your hand up. It says pin hand. It's a sign that says raise hand. I need you. You're all looking at me on Zoom there right now. Come on, don't look at me. Look at your TV screen or look at your computer screen. Look for the command. If you know how to change your name, that means you know where the menu is. And there's a little sign that says raise hand. Would you please all raise your hand, okay? I, I want you to do that very importantly because it locks your position. Otherwise, what just happened now, we, you, lose, you, you. we lose you and it, you go all over the place. So there you are. You're getting it now. Look at your computers. Many of you are out there. there and please go. raise your hand. We've got 103. Wow. 103 that have joined us. Go. Come on. You you've got to raise your hand. If you haven't raised your hand on Zoom, don't just put your name, raise your hand. Some of you are still called Galaxy, Nokia, and uh, you, you know iPhone and all of that. You, one day you'll learn how to change your name. You can actually give us your real first name right over there, and uh, we want to encourage you to do that tonight. It's very important because when the prophetic begins to flow, the prophet needs to know your name. He's not going to prophesy your name. All right, he needs to know who you are so we know who to speak to. If you believe in God for a word tonight, make sure you change your name. Roll it quickly for me, guys. Show them how to do this. This is what you need to do. So there we are. Now that was just for those on Zoom, okay? So we've given you the clear instructions now how to do it. Please lock your position, all right? Or we can't, we can't flow with you tonight because you jump all over our master screen, all right? So it's very important when you join us, change your name, all right? I still see some of you over there are called incorrect things and, and all the rest of it, Galaxy <laughs> and Hawaii and uh, all those different things. There's a way to change your name, put your real name in the meeting down and raise your hand as a reaction. And that's going to lock your position for the power of God tonight as we minister and as we flow. Okay, so if you haven't done that and you're still just looking, you're welcome to be in the meeting, yeah. but you're going to be all over and we're not going to be able to pick up a flow with you. So I just I'm warning you up front. Uh, it's very important. For those of you on Facebook, great to have you with us. So many people have joined us on Facebook over here and uh, Clubhouse as well. You want to greet everyone and, and just uh, share yes, with us. I want to greet everyone that's coming on Facebook, especially those that are on Clubhouse. I want you to ping someone in the room. Let them know that I'm on and I'll be ministering um, today uh, from, from this particular platform. And, of course, also those who view us on Facebook Live. I'm excited. As again, I have a word that I'm going to release that I believe will bring deliverance and healing and restoration and all the, the good things that God wants to do uh, by releasing his prophetic word. I'm also going to prophesy over many of the people whose names come up as well. All right. So we are ready for that. Patricia, thank you for arranging this week yes. and the great guests and introducing to me the guests and 
And uh, Brother John, it's so great to have you with us. And you're no stranger to Africa, as I said before, but it's great that we got the opportunity yes. to meet now. And I'm believing God for something special. It's been a powerful week. It's just been too short this week. Know, what do you say? No, absolutely. Short. I just wish you could go on and on, but we can always come back. We can come back. We can always come back. Faith, that Faith TV is going to be here. And I believe that God is up to something. It's, uh, you know, we've talked about this, and I've heard you say it, Apostle. God is doing something new. Right. And some of what he's doing, we don't even have a point of reference of anybody else that's done it that way. I mean, even just think about this week at Faith TV, we did Clubhouse, okay? Come on, come on. And doing Clubhouse again tonight. And there's a fusion that I believe that God is doing, a fusion with giftings, a fusion with purpose, a fusion with assignments, a fusion with different nations. Look, all around the world from several different nations are joining here tonight. This is a Holy Ghost fusion come on, tonight. Come on. Even on this platform here with us together, God is doing unprecedented things. And so I just want to say to you very briefly as we, we roll over is to, to say, Lord, make me ready for the new. Refuse on, to put new wine in old skins. Be open tonight for, for God to speak to you. Be open tonight for God to do something new. Be open tonight for whatever God has for you. And I believe that God has a fresh, fresh word for Clubhouse, for Facebook, for what, what all do we have tonight? We got Facebook, we, we got, got Facebook, Clubhouse. Facebook, YouTube, huh. Twitter, Clubhouse. Um, I'm thinking, what else? Zoom, Instagram, you got Zoom, Instagram, Zoom. Zoom. Whoa. All right, 148 cameras wow. tonight okay. already on and Zoom. Wow, wow, wow. All right, and climbing and hundreds of you on Facebook with us tonight. Tonight, God is going to move, and I, I, I want to make sure that we're ready. Now, I'm going to say one more thing, and then we're going to get into a flow tonight because I want to give Brother John maximum time, time tonight yes. to flow. But this is what, if you have not yet subscribed to Faith Now, if you have not yet downloaded Faith Now, I want to encourage you to go to your uh, um, Apple Store, your uh, iTunes Store, to go to your Google Store, wherever you are. Everything is packaged in one place called Faith Now. And Faith Now is becoming what I believe to be the fastest growing, most amazing place where men and women of God are coming together, multiple networks. I just got a, a note before uh, the, the program. One of the other TV channels has heard about it, wants to be on Faith Now. Praise and God. Uh, they've wow. asked me to phone them straight off to the live broadcast right Amen. now. Uh, doors are opening. We've got channels that are busy lining up with contracts to be able to come on board with us. And we're going to have multiple Christian TV channels under one banner called Faith Now. All right, it's one word. You've got to search it. You've got to Google it. You've got to log into your Apple store, your iTunes store. And you know what? You get five downloads of it. In other words, five devices can simultaneously watch Faith Now. It's an amazing, amazing uh, uh, app. It's an absolutely amazing place to be. And you can visit faithnow.net or faithnow.app to get more information about what we're talking about. So come on, let's go to the screens. If you have not yet downloaded Faith Now, now is your opportunity. Take a look. The power's here, and your faith is going to activate it, and miracles are in the room right now. You were called to move in power. You were called to move in the anointing. You have been anointed in this hour to go into the world and to proclaim the gospel. Out of that ear. Out. Open for the glory of God. I loose your tongue to speak. Do you hear me good now? Yeah. Is it clear? Come on, shout. I dare you to shout yes. I said I dare you to shout yes. Not only that, for he's past on his hobby, he walked on water. I didn't feel a thing. In fact, I was so dry, it felt like burnt toast with no butter. You know what I'm talking about? That failure that you're feeling right now. I want you to know you're not a failure in the eyes of God. I want you to know today, child of God, that it's not over for you. It's not over for you. I want you to know the love of God is here for you tonight. No matter how difficult the time may be, and time, time is difficult. We are living in a difficult time. But God's opinion concerning this time, about this time is, the body of Christ can move in victory. 
But you can get the same results by faith, 24 hours a day, seven days a week, as you can when the anointing comes and goes. So we're not just waiting on this some pokey pokey, mysterious, glorious move. It's already here. The flood is here. It's not coming, it's here. The flood is here. The flood is here. It's not coming, it's here. The flood is here. The flood is here. All right, there we have it, faithnow.net. Go, go visit Faith Now, download, subscribe, and become a part today. All right, I wanted to leave that with you. This week is going to be an amazing rest of the week, Thursday night. Tomorrow night, we'll be with you live from Buffalo City, East London, South Africa. Pastor Kevin and Chantel and the team there will be bringing you a powerful program with special guests. Friday night is the next Okay, so don't forget about Friday night. And then, as well, we've got the live programming Saturday, all day Sunday, multiple live programs, and we'll be back with you Monday night. Now, Brother Benny Hinn has unfortunately had a situation and will not be with us next week, but we've got other exciting things lined up for you. You don't want to miss. We're going to be live with you Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday next week, and I'll tell you some more information about that as we get closer to that time. But tonight... It's about the power of the Lord. And so for the next 90 minutes, we've got one and a half hours left. I want you to get ready. Mm -hmm. Brother John, I know you're going to be sharing in a few minutes. But what are you feeling just as a, as a little bit of a wet our appetite here for a moment? What are you feeling tonight God's going to do and then we're going to worship? Well, I feel an anointing for deliverance. Mm -hmm. I feel an anointing for breakthrough for many of those that are viewing. Uh, I feel the word of the Lord is going to come to set them free. And that scripture which says he sent his word and healed them and delivered them from their destructions. Mm -hmm. I believe that is a word that's going to be released tonight. So I, I sense miracles. I sense deliverance. I sense restoration, encouragement that will come through the preaching and the release of the prophetic word. I, I really do sense an anointing. I feel it now, uh, mm -hmm. even as I began to speak. And um, I feel it's going to increase, increase, increase as we move forward on, uh, in on. this broadcast. It's going to be a good night, Dr. Patricia. I believe that it's been a total setup tonight. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I believe that there are people that are gathered around. You're sitting around the television screen. You have it on your phone. Your family, some of your families are there. And this word that's going to be released tonight, five words were released in my life up under the life of T.L. and Daisy Osborne. Mm -hmm. Five prophetic words that unlock the prophetic destiny in my life. Mm -hmm. Five words shifted me. I see nations in you. Wow. And when the prophet released that, my whole life shifted. The trajectory of my whole life changed. Come on, and the same come way on. God did it in my life from five words, one word tonight can change your life. So get ready. Get your expectancy level up, That's and right. God will exceed your expectations. Wow. That's right. Jen, what are you feeling tonight? You know, I just love it when you first said about how God is here for deliverance, to bring a word of deliverance. I, it really resonated in my spirit especially for the people of South Africa, the nation, what you have just come out of. So many of you have been actually held captive by fear and things that are holding you back from the destiny that God has for you now. And I believe that as you open your hearts to receive this word, you're going to be set free, delivered, and nothing is going to hold you back from being exactly who God has intended you to be right now because God needs you. He is ready to empower you and your life is going to shine right. gloriously for Him. That's right. Now, remember it's home cell night. What does that mean? That means for the next 90 minutes we focused on Him. Yes. We are connecting with Him. I want to speak to every one of you dear partners on Zoom there tonight. I, I want you to be Zoom ready. Worship the Lord. We want to use your imagery. We've got 172 cameras connected tonight. All right, and I, I, want to, I, I want to use those images of you worshiping. So you need to be a worshiper. We're about to worship. Matt and Kelly are going to lead us in worship as we go right now with the faith band. And we're going we're gonna to worship for the next few minutes. And then Brother John's going to come out and he's going to minister the word of the Lord to you. And you're going to be blessed. And then we're going to prophesy. We're going to just flow with the Holy Ghost tonight. So I want you to get ready. But I want you to respond. Remember, you are not there just spectating. You are there participating tonight. And so every single one of you, I want you right now to get ready. If you're on Facebook, if you're watching in Clubhouse, 
If you if you're watching or listening in Clubhouse, should I say, if you're watching on Facebook, if you're on Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, any of the different feeds, or you're there on Zoom, I want you just to raise your hand right now. Come on, just lift your hands. Let's just lift our hands. Come on, let's let's just welcome the Holy Spirit tonight. Can we do that? Can we say, Holy Spirit, would you come? Would you move in this uh, meeting tonight, this encounter, this Holy Ghost moment right now? Just say, Lord, I choose to worship you. I choose to push in. I touch the hem of your garment tonight. And Lord, we say, Holy Spirit, come. Welcome. Welcome into our living room. Welcome into our home. Welcome into our lives. And we come just as we are. And we say, move in our lives this day, we pray in the name of Jesus. If you've been blessed with a heavenly tongue, would you pray in the Spirit right now just for a few moments? Come on, band. Come on, everyone on the cameras. Come on, let's pray in the Spirit. Let's believe God. Supernatural. Supernatural. Come on. Come on, lift your voices together. Lift your voices together. Every one of you on Zoom, pray the Spirit right now. Pray the Spirit right now. Everyone on Facebook, everyone on Clubhouse, pray the Spirit right now. Pray the Spirit right now. Lead us in worship. Come on, worship wherever you are right now. Let's worship Him. your glory fill this place your presence fill this room even more even now oh yeah so this is our prayer tonight show me your glory Show us your glory in wonder and surrender we fall down. Show us your glory, show us your glory. Let every burning heart be holy ground. So show us, show us your glory, show. Throne upon our praise here in this place. Have your way. The moment that we see, we are changed. Show us, show us your glory, show us your glory in wonder and surrender. Show us your glory, show us your glory, let every burning heart be holy ground, we say we're here, not by power, not by might, but only by the cross we come alive. Show us. 
us your glory, show us your glory, show us your glory. In wonder and surrender we fall down, show us, show us your glory, show us your glory. Let every burning heart be holy ground, show us your glory. Show us your glory, show us your glory. In wonder and surrender we fall down. Show us your glory, show us your glory. Let every burning heart be holy ground. We say in chains fall. Fear, bow here now. Jesus, you change everything. Lies healed, whole found here now. Jesus, you change everything. Sing, chains fall, fear. Bow here now, Jesus. You change everything. Lies heal, hope found here now. Jesus, you change everything. Change for. Change everything, lives healed, whole found here now. Jesus, you change everything, oh, change for. You change, Jesus, you change everything. 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 Change falling. Yeah. I hear those chains falling. I hear, I hear, I hear those chains falling. I'm free, I'm free, I'm free, I'm free. I hear those chains falling. Yeah. Cause there is power in the name of Jesus. Jesus, hey. there is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus to break every chain, break every chain, break every chain. There is power, there is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. To break every chain, break every chain, break every chain. So break, so break every chain, break every chain, break every chain, break. Every chain. break. Break every chain, break every chain, break every chain to break. So break every chain, every chain, break every chain. I hear, I hear, and I hear those chains falling. You're free, you're free, you're 
free, you're free. I hear those chains falling. You're already free, it's already done. I hear those chains falling. Oh, I hear those chains falling. As you sing, you're coming free, you're coming free. I hear those chains like Paul and Silas in the prison cell. I hear those chains fall. Lift up your voice and sing for your freedom. I hear those chains fall. Oh, they're coming, they're breaking, they're breaking, yeah. I hear those chains falling. Oh, sing chains fall and chains fall. Change everything, lies healed, whole found here now. Jesus, you change it chains fall here now. Here now, Jesus, you change everything. Jesus, you change, Jesus, you change everything. 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 Uh, Revelation 19.10 says, Worship God for the testimony of Jesus is the spirit of prophecy. And I felt as they began to worship and to sing the spirit of prophecy coming uh, into this atmosphere. And I'm already stirred to prophesy as we worship God. There is a glory that is released as we come into God's presence and when God anoints us to speak and decree the word of the Lord, lives are changed. And I, I, I want to prophesy to the, the individual, Adrian, uh, Adrian, yes, but I saw you as you were worshiping God. And I hear the Lord saying, son, even as you reach out to me, I extend my hand back to you. The Lord says, my hand is not closed. My hand is open. And even as you ask and, and even as you request and your prayers come to me, I begin to release even wonders and miracles in your life. The Lord said, do not be limited by what you see or by what you feel, but begin even to worship and to reach out to me even more. And you're going to see wonders and signs in your life that you've never seen before. For the Lord says, I'm making a difference between those who worship me and those who do not worship me. And the worshipers shall have an extension of my grace and my mercy and my power in their life. And because you've lifted your hands and reached out to me today, I am an ever-present help in the time of trouble. And even in this situation you may find yourself in, there will be no limitation in your life, but I've come to break the limitations. I've come to remove the obstructions. I've come to break you into a new realm and I've come even to be the breaker before you. Even Micah 2.13, the breaker will go before you and you're going to see suddenlies and breakthroughs in your life that you've never seen before, says the Lord. For my word is coming upon you and even others that are watching today. The Lord says, get ready for my miracle working power. And the Lord says, I'm extending my mercy and my grace and my favor upon your life and there'll be new favor and new grace and new mercy that shall come upon you in this hour you'll even feel my fire in your hands and even as you lay hands upon the sick and even as you pray for others you'll be able to impart and release a fresh glory and a fresh anointing into the lives of those you minister to 
So the Lord said, this will be the day of overflow. I'm going to anoint your head with oil and cause your cup to run over. I'm going to fill up your cup, says the Lord, and cause overflow and abundance to come out of you. So get ready not only to receive, but get ready to release even more, 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 more. It shall come out of you in the days to come, and you'll say, my God, what is happening to me? But the Lord says, I give you a word to prepare you for new things. There's an evangelistic, revivalistic anointing that I will place upon your life, my son, even to, to win the loss and even to deliver the bound and even to extend mercy to the hopeless. So get ready for a fresh release and a fresh anointing. And so, Father, I release your word upon him and even others in the room who have worshipped during this time. And, I, and the Lord says, get ready for a fresh release, a fresh release of my grace, my power, and my anointing to come upon you. And the Lord says, you've come on tonight saying, oh God, I'm expecting, my, I'm open, my heart is open to receive. And the Lord said, because you've come expecting, you're going to be like the woman that touched the hem of my garment. And because she came in faith, virtue began to leave me. And I'm releasing virtue and power into your life. Those who've extended, those who pressed through the crowd, those who pressed through their issues. The Lord says, get ready for now virtue and power and strength is flowing unto you. On, Healing virtue and delivering virtue is coming unto you because you didn't allow even the pandemic. You didn't allow the crowd to keep you back from pressing through. But because you press through now, even as you touch me, says the Lord, my virtue comes. My power comes. My grace comes. My anointing comes to release a miracle in your life. And those issues that have plagued you, I'm drying them up, says the Lord. Those things that have bound you for years, I'm drying them up, says the Lord. And I'm causing virtue and power even to touch your life. Even those who've been struggling for years and years and years. And you said, oh God, it's been so long. But even as the woman with the issue of blood, after years and years and years of suffering, I caused her to be healed. Her faith caused her to be touched. So get ready to be released from years and years and years of trouble and torment and infirmity and things that have held you back, says the Lord. And so, Father, I release your word over those who struggle with years of issues, but they pressed and they pressed and they pressed and they pressed through the crowd and the obstacle and they pressed through the people that would have turned them back and said it's no use, but because you're pressed, get ready to receive my virtue, my power, and my grace upon your life. Father, I release it and I decree miracles, breakthroughs, healings, and release upon those who are watching from years and years and years of torment and bondage. Let it end today. Let it be released today in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Listen, I feel the anointing. I love worship. I love the presence of God. And I feel the anointing. And I want to release this word to everyone uh, concerning a deliverance that God is going to bring tonight. Uh, and uh, I re when you said that the Lord gave you five words uh, that turn your life around. Well, God sent a man by the name of Moses into Egypt. And sometimes we look at the rod of God, the power of God, and our Moses went in with the authority of heaven. But Moses did not go into Egypt without a word. Mm -hmm. Anytime God sends a man or woman into a place of bondage, he always puts a word in their mouth. And so he said these four words, let my people go. Oh. Let my people go. Let my people go. That was the word that God told him to speak to Pharaoh. He lifted up the rod of God. He performed signs and wonders and miracles. But he did not do it until he released the word that God gave him. Let my people go. And this has been a word that God has been releasing since that day. Anytime God's people are in bondage, whether it's fear, whether it's poverty, whether it's confusion, Confusion, whether it's depression, whether it's sadness, whether it's hurt, whether it's witchcraft, whatever it is, God has a word, and it's the four words, let my people go. God does not 
want his people to be in bondage. And for anyone that is listening to me, this is the word of the Lord to you today. God is releasing his prophets, his apostles, his evangelists. He's sending them into places of bondage. And he's saying the same on, thing today come on, come that he on. said to Pharaoh, let my people go. God is releasing his people from struggle, from hurt, from pain, from confusion, from double-mindedness, from unbelief, from unforgiveness, from bitterness, anger, rage, lust, perversion, whatever it is, poverty, lack of rebellion, pride, whatever it is, God is releasing a prophetic word in this hour to his people, and he's speaking to every Pharaoh in your life, every controlling spirit in your life, every individual, every system, every place uh, where there's been bondage, uh, whether it's the government, uh, whether it's the economy, whether it's witches, warlocks, uh, whatever it is, God is saying to the pharaohs of this hour, let my people go. Every pharaoh shall oh, now Jesus. experience uh, the wonders of God. Uh, and I've come to release the rod of God, uh, the authority of heaven uh, being sent by God uh, into your situation. And I don't care what you're going through. I don't care what you're facing. I don't care what is karma. I don't care how long you've been in bondage. The word of the Lord comes to you today. God is saying, let my people go. My people will no longer be in bondage. They'll be no longer controlled by, by the pharaohs and the systems of this world. My people will be free. You'll be free to rejoice. You'll be free to come praise. On, You'll be free on, to worship. On. You'll be free in your finances. You'll be free in sickness from sicknesses uh, in your body. You'll be free to prophesy. You'll be free to do what God has told you to do. You'll be free. And after this pandemic, uh, after this lockdown, uh, I release the word of the Lord uh, over nations, uh, and God is saying, uh, let my Come people on. go. My people will not be bound. Uh, they'll not be locked down. Uh, they'll not be held back. Uh, they'll be set free because my word is coming to you today. Let let my people go. God has heard the cries of his people. He's heard the moans of his people. He's heard the prayers of his people. He's heard the, 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 the loud, the voice of his people coming, his people crying out. He's heard the groans of his people. And God is now releasing a word to you today. He's releasing a prophetic word. And he's saying by the spirit of God that this is a day of liberty. And I've come to prophesy. Isaiah 42 and 9 Behold the former things have come to pass and new things do I declare before they spring forth I tell you of them the Lord says I've come to do a new thing in your life I've come to bring you out of the old into the new I've come to give you new breakthroughs and new miracles and new relationships and new finances and new favor and new grace and new strength and new power and and new levels. I've come to give you new land and new property. I've come to give you new things that you've never had before. I've come to bring you out of an old season into a new season. The Lord said this is a day of transition. This is a day of change. This is a day of coming out of the old into the new. The Lord says I release a word that's going to birth you into new places. And the Lord says what you could not do in in your strength uh, the Lord says it's not by might uh, it's not by power but it's by my spirit says the Lord uh, I come to do for you by the anointing of God uh, by the Spirit of God uh, what you could not do for yourself uh, I've come to release a word uh, upon your life uh, that shall bring healing uh, and deliverance uh, and change uh, and transition uh, and new things uh, the Lord said there's a new wind uh, that's about to blow your way there's a new river about to come into your life. There are new songs that you're going to sing in the days to come. There's a new anointing that's going to come upon you. There's new prosperity that you're going to walk in, says the Lord. There are new doors that are going to open for you in this hour, says the Lord. I've come to do new things in nations. I've come to do new things in business. I've come to give you new ideas and new innovations and new creativity. I've come to give you new dreams and new visions. I've come to release
erase you from the old, says the Lord, and you will not live in the old. You will walk in the new. So get ready, says the Lord, for new blessings to fall upon you, for new rain to come upon your life, for new water that you shall drink. You shall drink from new wells. You shall live in new places. You shall walk in new dimensions. You shall experience new grace, says the Lord. You shall see new miracles and new signs and new wonders that you've never seen before. Before I do a new thing, says the Lord, I always speak through my prophets. The Lord does nothing, but he first reveals it unto his servants, the prophets. And the Lord said, get ready. I'm raising up new prophetic voices that you've never heard before, and they shall decree the new thing that I'm releasing in this hour. I'm raising up a new generation of prophetic voices, prophets that shall release my word, and they shall go into the desolate areas. They shall go into places of hopelessness. They shall go into places of despair. They shall go in the places of darkness. And when they open their mouth, says the Lord, my words shall be like a hammer that breaks the rocks in pieces. And it shall cause change and transition and new things to come. So even as you lift your hands and even as you worship me, get ready for a new grace and a new spirit to come upon you. Get ready for new favor to be your portion, says the Lord. I'm releasing a word over you today. You'll not languish in the old. You'll not die in the old. You'll not live in the old, but you'll transition. You'll cross over into the new. And the Lord said, even as I brought my people out of Egypt, I brought them out of the old, and I brought them into the new. I brought them into a new land, into a good land, into a land flowing with milk and honey. And so the Lord said, I bring you out of bondage. I bring you out from under the control of Pharaoh, and I bring you through the place, the Red Sea, and I bring you into the place where I can cause you to go over into a new land. I bring you into a land of peace, shalom, prosperity, grace, and blessing, said the Lord. So continue to worship me. And the Lord said, now is the time. Now is the season, the season of release, the year of release, the year of jubilee. Many of you shall experience a new jubilee. You shall experience a new freedom. You shall experience a new release, says the Lord. It shall be a new season of favor. And many of you will say, but how can these things be? I, 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 when I look around, it doesn't look like it'll ever change. But the Lord said, get ready. I'm going to accelerate things. I'm going to move things quickly. I'm going to cause the suddenlies of God to hit your life. Even as it was on the day of Pentecost, when suddenly... There was a sound from heaven uh, as of a rushing mighty wind. Uh, the Lord said, my wind shall blow suddenly. It shall blow you out of the old uh, and into the new. And there'll be a sudden change. Uh, there'll be a new tongue. Uh, there'll be a new mantle. There'll be a new glory that shall come upon your life. Uh, and the Lord said, many of my ministers have not released uh, the word over my people, but they preached dead messages. They preach old messages. But the Lord said, no, I cause a fresh word in the mouth of my apostles and my prophets. And they'll not just speak what they spoke years ago, but they'll release a new word. And many of them, when they say, when they say it, they'll say, oh my God, what did I just say? Can that really happen? But the Lord says, I'm not a man that I should lie. I'm not the son of man that I should repent. If I said it it shall come to pass. I will do exceeding abundantly above all that you can ask or think. I will do a work in your day that you will not believe, though a man declare it unto you. I'm going to cause my word to come, and I'm going to cause my prophets and my apostles to decree things that they've never spoken before. And when the word comes out of their mouth, they'll say, oh my God, what did I just say? But if you speak it by my grace, the Lord said, I'll I'll do it. I've been waiting on my prophets. I've been waiting on my apostles to release the word of the Lord. And even as you tune in 
to this network. Uh, you'll not just hear a message you've heard over and over and over again, but oh, you'll hear a fresh word. You'll hear something new, and you'll say, can these things be? But the Lord says, with, uh, with me, there is nothing impossible. When I say it, uh, it shall come to pass, uh, and I'll raise up the Jeremiah's, uh, and when they speak, uh, they shall root out, uh, they shall tear down, uh, they shall destroy, and then they shall throw down, uh, but they shall also build and plant. Uh, for I'm releasing a word uh, that shall tear down the old. Uh, it will destroy the old. Uh, it will pull down the old. Uh, it will uproot the old. Uh, but oh, they'll release something new. They'll build new things, uh, new cities, uh, new nations, uh, new platforms, uh, new churches, uh, new businesses. Uh, they will build the new, said the Lord, because I'm putting my word in the mouth of my Jeremiah's. Uh, and even those Jeremiah's uh, that have been discouraged and said, I won't speak anymore for many of you. I put my word in your mouth and you said, oh my God, I'm tired of speaking it, but it shall be like a fire that shall be shut up in your bones and you'll prophesy with fire. You'll speak with fire. You'll speak with glory. Oh, so lift your hands up and I impart a fresh prophetic spirit that shall come upon you. A fresh prophetic grace shall come upon you. The spirit of prophecy shall be your portion and when you open your mouth get ready for miracles miracles breakthroughs signs and wonders and I'll cause the prophets to sing and they'll sing the song of the Lord and they'll sing new songs and they'll prophesy in the music I'll cause the minstrels to play and they'll release the new sound and the new sounds and the new songs shall be released over my people and even as David sang and prophesied the minstrels will prophesy the psalmists will prophesy the singers will prophesy the preachers will prophesy and there'll be a prophetic release in this generation that you've never seen before there'll be a release of my word for the enemy has spoken and the enemy has said this and the enemy has said I will do this and the enemy has said I will not let the people go but oh my word comes now that shall overpower and destroy the voice of the enemy and every lie every deception that has been spoken every. by the enemy the Lord says I cancel it with my word and I release a new word upon you I release a new voice that you will hear and you'll no longer listen to the voice of the enemy you'll no longer listen to the lies of the enemy oh I'll pull those lies out of your ears and I'll cause my word to come into your ears and you'll hear my voice and there'll be liberty there'll be freedom there'll be glory there'll be dancing there'll be praise there'll be prosperity there'll be deliverance there'll be healing there'll be impartation and there'll be release of new things Lord I prophesy it today over this continent I prophesy it today wherever my voice is heard let there be a divine release of your glory Lord I speak your word to this nation to the nations of the earth and I say rise up and finally I decree and I prophesy Isaiah 60 arise and shine for your light has come and the glory of the Lord is risen upon you for darkness shall cover the earth and gross darkness the people but my glory my light my brilliance my beauty my prosperity my favor my wealth shall be seen upon you and the Lord says I've come even to break and destroy the spirit of poverty and the spirit of lack and I come to release wealth I've come to release a prosperity I've come to release a breakthrough in your finances so get ready for miracles financial miracles and financial breakthroughs and you'll not walk in the old economic system but I'm raising up new economic system says the Lord you'll break through what you've not broken through before and so father I decree a river of prosperity a river of grace and a river of favor to come upon everyone that is watching today in Jesus name in Jesus name oh lift your hands and receive it people of God Breno no motora baleso coronda yele na silo lo boche. 
And the Lord said, I seal this word. I seal it. It will not be broken by the enemy. I seal your hearts. Hallelujah. I lift up your hands and I lift up your heads. And those whose heads have been down, saying, oh God, I've been so discouraged. The Lord said, I've come to lift up your heads. I've come to lift up your hands. I've come to strengthen the feeble knees. I've come to release my strength and my grace into you. And weakness will not be your portion. Infirmity will not be your portion. But I've come to strengthen the weak. I've come to make my people strong. I've come to strengthen your back that you might stand again. I've come to strengthen your back that you might stand again. That you'll not be bent over and oppressed by the enemy, but you'll stand upright. For I've come to strengthen your back, says the Lord. I've come to lay my hands upon your back. I've come to straighten out your back. And even as the woman was bent over for 18 years with the spit of infirmity, I've come to break those generational infirmities off of your back. And I, even as I spoke unto her and said, woman, you're loosed from your infirmity. I've come to speak unto the daughters and say, you're loosed from your infirmity. And you'll no longer be bent over, but oh, you will stand up again. And you'll, you'll be delivered from the thing that has held you down and the thing that has called you to bow I loose you I, 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 I sent such a, an anointing for generational bondages to be broken. I talked about the woman with the issue of blood for 12 years and I'm talking about the woman that had been bent over for 18 years and it seems as there are many of you, you struggle with things for years and years and years and it's not left but oh even as Israel was in bondage for 400 years but I sent my word to loose them, I'm releasing you from the generational bondages, the things that were We'll try to go from generation yes. to generation to yes. generation be loosed and be free and come out and be delivered I prophesy I decree and I release it today in Jesus name hallelujah 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 oh go ahead and worship and receive it believe the word of the Lord the Bible says believe his prophets and you will prosper Believe his prophets and you will prosper. Believe his prophets and you will prosper. Father, as they receive your word today, wherever my voice is heard, thank you, Lord, for doing something new. And that verse comes again, Isaiah 42 and 9. Read it. The former things have come to pass. New things do I declare. Do I declare. Do I declare. Before new things happen, they must be declared. The prophet must declare it. And so we declare new things for those who felt stuck, for those who felt as if you can't move forward, for those who felt as if you can't transition, you can't change, you can't shift because there's been something holding you back. I declare today new things over your life, over your business, over your finances, over your marriage, over your families, over your ministries, and over your churches in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. What a word. What a word. What a word. I, I want you on Facebook right now to type in there, I receive it. I receive it right now. That's all you've got to say. I receive it. I want you. There needs to yes. be an action. A, a response. A, a response. Absolutely. A response to this powerful, Thank you, Jesus. powerful word. Some of you are going to have to rewind this. And some of you are going to have to listen to this again and again on Facebook. Some of you are going to need to record this little piece out of Facebook. This is a word for you. This is a word for the nations. This is a word. This is a, a word that has, that, that has cut across borders of countries and continents. Thank you, Jesus. This is a word. You're either going to receive it or you're going to reject it. You better receive it right now. If that's you, just say, I receive it. I receive right now, if you're on Zoom, right now, type in the comment section on Zoom, I receive it. I receive it. There's up to sometimes over 250 of you on Zoom just receiving this word. Praise God. Many of you are receiving it via television all over. Praise God. This has been a powerful, whoa. powerful prophetic utterance. Whoa, 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 whoa. Right now from here across the nations of the world. Wow. Praise God. Let's just receive it right so now. Holy, holy. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus.
Ooh, your presence, Lord. Your presence, your presence, your presence. Go to the Facebook page, myfaith.tv. Like the page if you've never liked it. Myfaith.tv, like the page. And on that live feed, right now, of this live utterance, say, I receive it. I receive it. Declare. Put your declarations in right now. Put your declarations in right now. God's doing something. God's doing something. You on Clubhouse right now, just declare it. Declare it right now. What a word. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, the best of all. Thank you, Father. Let's sing that song. Holy, holy, holy. That three line song. Holy. Thank you, Jesus. Holy, holy are you, Lord God Almighty. Worthy is the Lamb. Worthy is the Lamb.
Worthy is the Lamb. Worthy is the Lamb. Amen. I want you to know God Himself has spoken tonight. The very oracles of God. The Word of God has come through the prophet. For you, your business, your church, your city, your nation. And like he said, as you receive it, it's going to determine what you receive. So, Father, we receive this tonight in Jesus' name. You're going to need to listen to this again and again. You're going to need to rewind it on Facebook and listen to it when it's all said and done. You've got to listen to this over and over again. We, we'll, we'll cut this little piece out and we'll make it a post as well. What are you feeling, Jane? You know, um, in the times that we've come through, it's like God's people have been crying out for a voice, crying out for the voice of the prophets, and it's been silent. But I know today everything changes. Today, I, I, there's, you cannot even question that this was God, that God is all over this. And I'm so grateful because what a faithful God we serve. He is so powerful. He is so powerful, so magnificent, and He loves His people. He loves His people so much, and He will not abandon His people. He will not abandon you. He will show Himself strong on your behalf. Mm. He's declared it, and I believe every word He speaks. And I praise God that today everything changes because He has spoken it's the word we've been waiting for. That's right. Hallelujah. Brother John, thank you. Wow. That's powerful. Hallelujah. That was powerful. Thank you. I, I, really, I really feel that God is really coming to encourage his people, to, to lift his people up. Um, and the word of the Lord comes to edify us, exhort us, comfort us, strengthen us. Bless us, deliver us. Um, I want to encourage those who have heard the word to grab it, receive it, and walk in it. God is releasing his people mm. from right. fear, from discouragement, frustration, tiredness, weariness, sickness. Even from this pandemic, we're not going to be the ones that have nothing. God will satisfy us in famine, Psalms 37. He will satisfy the righteous in famine. And there will be no famine for the righteous. And I, I decree that and speak it. And I, I feel that God wants to do something new. That's true. Sometimes when, when something like a pandemic comes, um, it really divides the old from the new. Mm. The world will never be the same after this pandemic. The old world be new, it's over. It's com a completely new world we're about to walk into. Just like Noah walked out of the ark from the flood, he walked into a new world. There's always something new. Even when it looks devastating, it, it looks destructive. God has a way of bringing the, the new out of the old. And I, I really feel that in the next 10 years, the next decade and more, that we should look forward to new things. Yes. And... Um, I really want to encourage God's people to grab that word, believe it, walk in faith, and um, I trust that it will break you into the new thing that God wants to do. Right. So I've, I've been honored to come and share. And, um, and of course, Dr. Bailey is the one that connected me with you, and um, I'm glad I came to speak to uh, all of Africa. I love Africa. Yes. Um, I love the nations. I love the world. And if there's any time we need to hear from the prophets, it's now. That's yes. right. Especially during these times. Oh, prophets yes. cannot be silent. Mm -hmm. They have to release what God is saying so that people can see, they can know, they can understand what is God saying in the midst of all this confusion and 
all of, all of the things that we see happening. Uh, it, it doesn't matter what man says. What is God saying? Mm -hmm. And that's what I hope people would hear, mm -hmm. the voice of the Lord, and uh, we would speak as the oracle of God. Come Amen. On. Come on. Wow. wow. Thank you, Jesus. Tonight, I mean, what a different flow. Again, Patricia, every night's been different. Every night's been different. But I feel we need to do two things still tonight. I, I really feel in the anointing. Number one, I feel we need to get around the table of the Lord. We need to seal this word mm -hmm. with the elements, with the bread and the cup. And I believe as well tonight, if ever you've had a word that you want to hold on to and that you want to grab, tonight's the night. I feel we need to take a seat. And we need to put a seed in the ground. Amen. That's what I'm feeling, Brother John, and that, that we need to do. And I, I feel right now, wherever you're listening from, you're watching on Facebook, you're watching on YouTube, Twitter, Instagram, you're on Clubhouse. The Bible says when a prophetic word comes, we need to honor that prophetic word. In other words, we need to accept it and receive it. And so tonight... Opportunity first to put the seed in the ground tonight. I really feel that something, and the, the right now, there's a season right now. God's speaking to me right now. There's a moment right now where we say, Lord, I take the seed and I'm going to put it in because I receive this word for my family, my business, my life. That's what I want us to do right now. And a, one, of, one of the messages that God has given me, it's a life message. I've written a book on it. I teach on it quite a bit. Is on how to increase in God's favor. Because mm -hmm. when favor comes on life, it takes you places that nothing else will. And I believe that one of the one of the one of the sure ways of receiving favor is by giving. Right. Now the scripture says a man's gift will make room for him and bring him before great men. Yeah. It that verse is not referring to your spiritual gift. In in some tra most translation, it actually talks about a gift to great men that opens the door mm -hmm. for you to be able to see them. And so a gift, a seed, an offering can open the way for you to connect with great people. That's right. It causes favor to come. That's right. Giving it shall be given unto you. Good measure pressed down, shaken together, running over. Shall men, shall men give unto your bosom. Men will favor you when you sow. So I want to decree that those that are sowing tonight that whatever you need favor in, Come on. whether it's financial Come on. favor, Come business on. favor, Come on. favor with land, uh, property, contracts, favor with certain people, that if you want to see an increase in favor in your life, use the, the principle of sowing and giving. And even as you sow into this, this, this network that is touching so many people, God's favor will increase in your life. Mm -hmm. The scripture says that Jesus increased in favor with God and man. So you can always increase and get more favor. And one of the ways you can do that is through giving. Uh, so I sense that the, for those who sow and give tonight, that there's a favor release coming upon you. New favor, financial favor, business favor, ridiculous favor, unusual favor, special favor. It's going to come upon your life. Favor with God and man, lifetime of favor. Uh, abounding in favor, I believe that favor is going to be the, begin to come. Not only as you do it now, but as you even continue to do it in the days to come. Mm -hmm. So I, I, I sense the anointing here for that. Mm -hmm. God wants some of you to break through. And one of the things that's going to break you through is new favor is going to be released over your life. So I want to challenge you in your giving to sow what I call a favor seed. Mm -hmm. You can't pay for favor, but when, when you give, God's favor is released in your life. Mm -hmm. And finally, 2 Corinthians 9, 8, God is able to make all grace or favor abound toward you, that you always having all sufficiency right. and all things may That's abound right. to every good work. So I'm praying that you'll have everything you need and you'll have more than enough to abound in, into good works and things you want to do. And you can do that by sowing a seed tonight. That's right. Let's take that seed and let's call it tonight my seed of favor. 
I'm believing for the favor of God and I want us to name that seed. I want us to plant it in the ground. The details are on the screen right now. It's easy. If you're on Facebook, you can go to the top of the Facebook feed on our page and click Donate. And you can give on the Donate button right at the top of the Facebook page of MyFaith.tv. Or even in the comment section there, if you type the word hashtag donate right there in Facebook, there's an opportunity. It'll kick up a window to you and it'll give you a link. You can click on that link and you can complete your donation and your gift. That way, putting your seed in the ground. So you can give online on any different way that you want. If you're watching on Facebook right now, there's an opportunity for you to give. You can take your phone and you can scan the QR code and you can give online. Through the QR code, go straight to the website, myfaithtv.com or myfaith.tv. All right, and as you do that, I want to tell you, you get your favor seed in the ground. That word, Jen, I, I, I have to, I, I, I'm speechless right now. You don't often see me speechless. I can still feel the weight. I feel the, I I feel feel the, feel the weight the of weight. God's glory so strong from that word. That has been a word from God. That has needed to be spoken over the continent of Africa. Africa, we have been crying for a word from God like this, from the prophet of God. And we've been asking the question, why are the prophets quiet? Let me tell you, the days of the quiet prophets are over. John, this was a powerful word for a continent, and I know for all the continents. Yes. For the men and women of God around the world. But you tapped into something so strongly. And tonight as we put our seed in the ground, we're going to believe God for favor. You know, you, the, I just want to say this. The whole time when you spoke, you spoke about the worshipers. You know, God's people that even when all the calamity came, they still stood for Him. They still believed in Him. They still, And that is Africa. Yeah. That is the people of Africa. We know. <laughs> That's our people. And I know we have seen them hold on to the Word of God. We've seen them worship. They've had such terrible lockdowns from the start, never been able to go back to church. The restrictions have been so severe. And then on top of that, it's like the enemy just keeps on bringing calamity and destruction and division. But God's people never stop worshiping Him. And so that's why I believe this is a this is God blessing His people. Yes, that's right. So we're so grateful for your obedience to speak his heart. Yeah. And we receive it Amen. in Jesus' name. And God's people are receiving and they are responding even right now. And if you're on Facebook and you put the word hashtag donate in the comment section, a little window popped up, a comment came back to you. You must click on that comment in order to complete that donation and that gift, all right, as it terms it on Facebook over there. And all of that will, will come through to the ministry. So there's many different ways for you to give. If you're watching on Zoom right now, take another device. Come on, let's put a seed in the ground. I, I'm, I'm believing tonight. Yeah. Can you encourage Clubhouse to give? Yeah, Clubhouse. Um, you can also sow by going to um, MyFaithTV. MyFaith.tv, yeah. Um, say it again, man of God. MyFaith.tv. MyFaith.tv, Clubhouse. I want you to sow. We're, we're touching so many people around the world. I'm here with Dr. Bailey and um, touching the people of the continent of Africa. Yes. It's been amazing uh, what they're doing through this, this network. So if you want to sow, I want to encourage you to sow a seed as well. Some of you have been sowing right here on Clubhouse, but go to that address and sow a seed. And I decree favor, grace, and blessing over your life as you sow as well. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Matt, let's worship, and then we're going to come back and we're going to break bread together tonight. Okay, we're going to give you opportunity to get that seed in the ground, and uh, I just need a moment here to recoup from the heaviness <laughs> and the weight of weight that strong cool. word, Beautiful. that weight of the strong word of God over the nations of the world and over you and your family. So let's worship, give you opportunity to get that seed in the ground. Father, I pray right now for every seed in the name of Jesus. I speak it released, and I speak it multiplied back to every giver. In the name of Jesus, amen. Amen. Let's worship, and we're going to break bread tonight. Tonight's not over. 
It's just this moment right now that God's dealing with us. Let's worship together. Oh, you are here moving in a mist. I worship you. I worship you. You are here working in this place. I worship you. Say, I worship you. You are here. You are here moving in the midst. So I worship you. I worship you. I believe that you are here, working in this place. I worship you. I worship you. Cause you are playmaker, miracle worker, promise keeper, light in the darkness, my God. That is who you are. You're the way maker, way maker, miracle worker, promise keeper, light in the darkness, my God. That is who you are. So you are here. And you are here, touching every heart, touching every heart. I worship you. I worship you. I believe that you are here, healing every heart. I worship you. I worship you. You are here. You are turning lives around, turning lives around. I worship you. stop you never stop working you never stop you never stop working even when I don't see it you're working even when I don't feel it you're working you never stop you never stop working you never stop you never stop working even when I don't see it you're working even when I don't feel it you're working you never stop you never stop working, you never stop, you never stop working, even when I don't see you working, even when I don't feel that you're working, you never stop, you never stop working, you never stop, you oh, one more time say, even when I don't see you even when, even when I don't feel it, you never stop, you never stop working. You never stop. Waymaker, we're a co worker, promise keeper, light in the darkness, my God. That is who you are. You are the way maker, way maker. 
maker, miracle worker, promise keeper, light in the darkness of my I trust that you are as blessed <laughs> as we are here in the studio tonight. Brother John, we, we break bread every single night. Tonight's night 490. 490 tonight. We've been live across the nations of Africa, Africa. all over the UK, and right here in the USA. 490 nights tonight. Praise God. And you know what? It's the power of remembrance yes. of the bread you, which represents the body and the cup that represents the blood. This has been our vitamins. This has been our antidotes. This has been our vaccines. <laughs> this has been everything that God has intended for us because he says as often as you do this, do it in remembrance of me. And so I want you to lead us for a few moments and we're going to break bread together. Get your bread and cup out wherever you are. Get it ready at home right now. Get your bread and the cup. And we're going to do this together as Brother John leads us. Father, we thank you for the gift of your son, his body, his blood that brings us redemption and healing. And even as we eat and partake tonight, thank you for the strength of remembering and the covenant that we have with you, the new covenant. And even on the night in which you were betrayed, you took bread, you break it, you gave it to your disciples. And you said, take, eat, this is my body, which is broken for you. And then you took the cup of blessing and said, drink, this is the cup of my blood, which is shed for you. And so, Lord, today we remember your body and your blood, and we eat and drink together and receive the benefits of salvation and redemption that we have through your body and through your blood. In Jesus' name, let us eat and drink together. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Just receive your miracle. As you partake right now, just receive. Just receive everything God's got for you. Thank you, Father. Miracle of life and life abundant. Miracle of wholeness. We remember, Jesus, what you did on the cross of Calvary over 2,000 years ago for each and every one of us. Thank you, Father. Dr. Patricia, I just feel so strongly out there. There's somebody that needs to come to that place of making right with Jesus tonight. In a sense, I maybe should have done it before we broke bread, but I, <laughs> I, 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 just, I just felt we needed to break bread at that moment. But there's souls that need to, need to come to Jesus. This network is all about souls. This network is about lives being touched and changed. That's what Faith TV is all about. It's about carrying the fire and the anointing of God. And I believe we're going to pray for the sick still tonight. 
You don't want to go anywhere. You want to stay with us. We're going to pray in just a few moments. But I feel there's prodigals out there. There's men and women of God or men and women that need God, that need to come back. They once knew Him, but they've drifted away. I'm going to ask you to take a moment and let's invite every person back home to a fresh commitment with Jesus. I sense not only the prodigal, but you are the Muslim in the family where the others have converted. And you ended up being in this atmosphere and you ended up scrolling. Yes. And tonight, Isa, the one in your surahs, 315, who shall show us the way? And you've seen the peace in your family because they've accepted Isa, but you've not experienced that peace. And he himself is reaching out to you because he's more than just the prophet. Astrogafulai, who shall forgive us of our sins? The Bible tells us in the book of John, he not only forgives us, but he cleanses us. And, and this is what makes what we believe different. You see, we have eternal security before we die. It's the only faith that promises that. We don't have to wait and then the judgment. For the Bible says that on the very moment that you believe on him, the moment you believe you have eternal life. Yes. And so all tonight has been set up just for you, for you and for the prodigal who grew up in church, grew up in the things of God, and you've been disgruntled, you've been disappointed by maybe some expectations you had in church and before leaders that have let you down. But there's one who will never let you down. And his name is Jesus. And he's both for the prodigal, as well as for you who are coming out of Islam right now. And all you have to do, you know in your Quran, there's no place that you can even find healing, mm. except the surahs say, Isa. Your Quran tells you that the only place where the Savior or the Deliverer is gonna come through a pure womb, that's Mary. So you see, all creation points to him, to both you, the prodigal, and the one who is, I decree, coming out of Islam to accept Isa as your Yeshua, as your Savior, as your Redeemer. To the prodigal, he's been waiting at the edge of the road like the father waiting for the son to come home. He's seen you through your mistakes. He's seen you knock your head up against the wall. He's seen you come to the end of yourself and he keeps loving you and there's nothing that you've done. Your sin is not greater than his love for you. Your sin is not greater than his love for you. Your sin is not greater than his love for you. It's not predicated upon what you did wrong, but it's all predicated upon what he did right. And so what he did right supersedes what you did wrong. And right now he wants to cleanse you and wash you and give you a reset and a fresh start for you and for the one that's been stumbling trying to find their way in Islam. For you see, your Quran tells you that the people of the book shall show us the way. And guess what? Look at this. We are the people of the book. And the book is the word of God. And Father, we just lift the those that are searching tonight. I send someone from Cote d'Ivoire, and even there's some who are living in South Africa, and you've, you've migrated there, and you've been through all of this, but your family is really from Senegal. And then I saw someone, I saw a whole family from Congo. There's a Congolese family that's listening tonight. God wants you to know that he has you. There's, there's those that are staying right in the townships. I see your corrugated tent. I see you, family. I see the corrugated tent in your roof. And when it rains, it comes in on you. And you don't have all the things that you desire. But the prophetic word that went forth tonight lets you know that he's not forgotten you nor That's forsaken right. you. That's and right. he has a plan for you. And you're special to him. And all everyone needs to do that's living outside of a relationship with him. It's not about rules and regulations. It's about a relationship and knowing him. And all you have to do is open up your heart right now and pray this prayer behind me and mean it in your come heart. On, and on. he's been waiting on you. You've not been waiting on him. Let's say this together right now. Say this with me. Say, Father God. Father God. I believe, I believe that, Jesus Christ that Jesus Christ is the begotten of God. Is the begotten of God. I, believe I believe that no man, that no man cometh, to the Father cometh to the Father but by Him. But by For him. He is the way, he is, he, the is way. The truth, he is the truth, and He is the life. 
And right now, I ask you, Jesus, come into my heart. Forgive me. I turn away from my wrongdoings. I'm tired of the life that I have lived. And I ask you, Lord, come into my heart. I need you. And today, according to your word, I proclaim, I proclaim, Jesus is Lord. I'm ready, Jesus, to live for you. In Jesus' name, amen. And amen. Hallelujah. <laughs> welcome. Welcome to the family. Welcome to Jesus. Mm. If you prayed that prayer, you ask yourself a question, what do I do now? Well, send us an email, what now at myfaithtv.com. What now at myfaithtv.com. That email address is on the screen right now in front of you. And when you send an email, we're going to send you automatically a book. It'll be a PDF downloadable book that you can print out, you can read online, and it'll help you on your journey in everything of your decision to follow Jesus for the rest of your life. All right, so please send an email to us, what now, at myfaithtv.com. Or if you prayed that prayer and you're on Facebook, just say, I prayed the prayer. I prayed the prayer. If you made a fresh decision of, your, of, of the Lord with your life, just say, I prayed that prayer even there on Facebook. But if you want the book, send us an email to whatnow at myfaithtv.com. Whatnow at myfaithtv.com. Father, I speak a blessing over every life that prayed that prayer now in the name of Jesus. Father, I pray that you would seal them, bless them and anoint them. And Lord, that you would keep them in the fold. Lord, that you would wrap your arms around them, that you would cover them, and Lord, that you would fill them with your Holy Ghost tonight in the name of Jesus. Wherever you are right now, I want you to just lift your hands. Come on, every single one of you, there's time right now for a fresh touch of the Holy Ghost, and my wife's going to pray for you right now. And I'm going to ask right now, wherever you are, if you've just prayed that prayer, or if you're at home right now and you say, I need a fresh touch, I need a fresh fire of God over my life, right now just lift your hands and we're going to believe God for a touch of God upon your life by the Holy Spirit tonight in Jesus' name. The Holy Spirit is a gift that God has given us. When yes. Jesus left this earth, He said, I am sending you That's right. a helper. I am sending you someone that will set you alive Thank on the you, inside. You will have the Spirit of God Himself living in you to empower you, to strengthen you, to equip you, to live in the fullness that Jesus paid for you and in a boldness to proclaim this gospel wherever you go. And right now, if you are uh, have just given your life to the Lord Jesus or if you are already saved but you have not yet received the baptism of the Holy Spirit and you need a fresh power, fresh uh, in, insurging power to rise what? up from the inside Come of you. On. It's for you. Jesus said it's for everyone who's accepted Him as Lord and Savior. So where you are now, all I ask you to do is lift your hands Thank to heaven. You, lift yes. your hands to yes. heaven. Yes. And we're going to pray yes. this prayer together. Yes. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you for your precious Holy Spirit. I thank you that you are a gift to us. And so in the name of Jesus, I pray that you would baptize every believer who is stretching out by faith to you right now, that you would fill them fresh with your power now in Jesus' name. I thank you, God, that they will receive a fresh infilling, that right in the depths of their heart, right in the innermost part a river of living water would come gushing inside of them right now in the name of Jesus that it would bubble up with fresh life it will bubble up with fresh peace it will bubble up with your joy in the name of Jesus and I thank you God that you will give them even the utterance of tongues that they will be begin speaking in a new heavenly language right now as they praise you and thank you and worship you. I thank you that you flow afresh on the inside of your children yeah. in Jesus' yeah. name. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. 
of God, we've got a matter of a minute or two left before we say goodnight. Well, actually about three or four minutes before we say goodnight. But I just feel, I don't know what you're feeling in your heart, but I feel there's, there's people that need a touch of God in the physical body. And if you feel there's something, let, let, let's, would you lead us and let's just minister for yes. a few minutes. Yes, Father, we thank you. As I, as I prophesied, virtue yes. is being released for bodies. For Thank healing, you, Jesus. even you. as the woman by faith pulled virtue from the from the touch when she touched Christ, mm -hmm. she touched the hem of his garment. Mm -hmm. I pray that the virtue of heaven you, would yes. flow into your yes. body yes. to dry up Jesus. any issue, any sickness, yes. any disease, any infirmity, Jesus. that even virtue Jesus. would flow through this broadcast Jesus. and that the very power of God would touch your body and that you'll be healed and restored and be made whole yes. by the power of Christ. Yes. Father, I thank you, Lord, that as we speak and as we decree and as we pray, Lord, you are touching the bodies of the people that are sick and virtue is now coming into your physical body to dry up and drive out any infirmity, any sickness, any disease that you may have. We pray for it. We believe it. Even as you worship tonight and receive tonight, when it's over, let it go. Let it be completely gone. And let a miracle touch your life in the area of healing. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Mm. Your fire, Thank your you, fire, Jesus. your healing power, Lord, right now, Thank right you, now God. through these airwaves. Faithful, faithful God. What a night. Hallelujah. What a night. Mm. <laughs> wow. This is why pastors need to connect mm. and need to understand that whoever dominates the airways dominates the culture. Hmm. dominates the mind, hmm. dominates the trend. For so long, we ended up on the backside and the, on, the, on the short end of the stick because God would give us the opportunity to dominate spheres and atmospheres and arenas. And because sometimes we didn't know how to move in the prophetic and move in the seasons and rhythms of God, and because sometimes we didn't have anything to compare it to, we let the secular world go and dominate what God has for us. But through this network, like an angel on a hill that God himself covers with warring angels mm. that the gospel un totally contaminated they will not compromise the pure simplicity of the word of God which is the power to save men's soul mm. you need to get in behind this you need to download the app you need to pass this you need to get in behind this we're gonna need a voice we're gonna need a domination in the airways as the times come and here's an opportunity for us not to allow this to, to go past us. And let's not miss this prophetic window because we forget, pastors, because you have the word and you have it so easily and your people have it. You don't think about those 500,000 that die every day that have never heard, that three-fourths that have never been reached, the 8,000 languages that have nothing recorded in their vernacular, and many who can't afford the Internet. You have your circles where your people listen to you, but God is expanding you. And he says, but what about those who haven't heard? What about those who haven't heard? 
and through this broadcast, they are determined to reach those who have not heard right. and have no one right. to reach them and to care for them. And so tonight we ask you to join with us and say, we care about them because they matter. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We love you. We love you so yes. much. Wow. Well, thank you so Amen. much, Dr. Patricia Bailey, for Praise this God. whole week with us wow. for the last three nights. And if you've been blessed, come on, give a shout out to Dr. Patricia Bailey yes. and Apostle John Eckhart. Wow, you Woo! hit that one out the park, man of God. <laughs> All right, that was Praise absolutely God. phenomenal. Wow. Thank you for coming down. I know you're ministering in Tampa and God's doing some great things up yes. over there as well. And uh, we just so appreciate you. Matt and Kelly, we're going to cry. All right, we're going to cry, but uh, we're going to see you soon. Yes. Okay, we're going to see you soon. And tonight's their official last night with us uh, in, in a sequence. And then they'll be coming in as they can. All right, and uh, we just love you. We just want to tell you. you we appreciate you. Yes. And that's why I did it last night, because I didn't want to cry tonight. <laughs> okay, but I know we're already talking about dates in the next two weeks and and the little odd days that Matt and Kelly will have available, their schedule is booked up. They are traveling wow. so much so around the nation of America. God has just opened doors all over. We are not going to stand in their way. In fact, we're going to open the door and kick them, all right, and boot them into the call that God has for them in a positive sense of yes, the way. Yes. Not kick all right, in a positive <laughs> sense of the way, we're, gonna, we, we're there to usher and to help them in all that God has for them. And their purpose and call, there's destiny upon Matt and Thank Kelly you. in such a strong way. Thank you. And uh, we just love you. And we're going to celebrate every day you're back with us That's on right. Faith Today. Come on. Faith. All right. So every day you come back and just give us even one day, Matt. All right. <laughs> Promise me you're going to give us at least one day every so often. At oh, least yeah. one day. As often as we can, yes. As often as you Absolutely. can. Absolutely. I know yeah. in, in your busy schedule and you'll be back. So come on. You know what? There's one last time we can all shout it out together. Yeah. All right, you know what we're about to shout. Come on, wherever you are, I want every voice. Right now, on the count of three, we're going to send him out with a big bang. All right, so come on, shout it out with me. Three, two, one, act. Take and us home. And worthy is your name, Jesus. You deserve the praise, worthy is your name, worthy is your name, Jesus. You deserve the praise, worthy is your name, worthy is your name, Jesus. You deserve the Worthy is your name, and worthy is your name, Jesus. You deserve the praise. Worthy is your name, because you are way maker, miracle worker, promise keeper, light in the darkness, my God, that is who. You are the way maker, way maker, miracle worker, promise keeper, light in the darkness, my God, that is who, that is who you are, that is who you are.